In this video, I'm going to show you how to test and clean a zirconia O2 sensor. So there's two different kinds of O2 sensors. You have the uh, zirconia and the titania. The one here we have uh, right now is a zirconia O2 sensor. What you're going to need is a meter. Uh, alligator clips are really going to come in handy and then your sensor. So you want to connect the positive lead to the output wire of the O2 sensor, the negative lead to the body of the O2 sensor. See I've got that black one on the body right there. And then what you want to do is get a torch and heat up the O2 sensor. And what we're looking for is uh, the O2 sensor needs to be able to produce at least 0.8 volts DC within 60 seconds of heat. Um, if it doesn't do that or doesn't produce enough voltage, um, then you know your sensor's bad. You can uh, burn out the sensor by heating it up cherry red, and uh, a lot of times that'll burn off a lot of the silicates and um, other you know deposits that you have on there. Most commonly, if you have a head gasket issue, or you have in the past, you'll get silicate buildup, and this will help burn it off. So let's heat this thing up and see if it works. Um, if you do get the correct voltage, like say point, uh, point 0.8 or point 0.9, and uh, what, the next thing you need to do is remove heat from the O2 sensor, and the voltage reading should drop within three seconds. So let's get started. Not trying to get it super hot, so let's, uh, Keep an eye on the readings over there. Slowly climbing up. Look at that. 0.9. See on the meter there? Get this thing uh, nice and hot all around. So see the meter readings over there? 0.9. This is a good O2 sensor. Now let me remove heat and look at that voltage drops almost immediately so on a sensor like this um, you it, it relies um, on the vehicle's exhaust heat but on a O2 sensor that ha is not a, is not a single wire then you'll have a heated O2 sensor and that'll help up it speeds up the process and gives you a more accurate reading more quickly so these O2 sensors are not as good um, you can convert a single wire to a heated O2 sensor, and there's tons of uh, information about that online. If you have any questions about something that you saw in the video today, uh, put it in the comments. Thanks for watching.